We're in the Bloom Kitchen cooking up something healthy with executive chef Jason Cates of Boca. Bloom starts now. Welcome to Bloom. I'm Cindy Edwards filling in for Carissa today. We are so glad you tuned in. If you're new to Bloom, we're dedicated to health and lifestyle and we are here to help your life grow. You'll see Carissa later on in the show in some previously recorded segments. So let's kick things off and look at what's trending now. Well, with every beat of your heart, blood is pumped through your aortic valve into your body. By the time we're 65, that valve has opened and closed over 2 billion times. And perhaps, not surprisingly, serious problems can develop. Dr. Frank McGeorge tells us about a recent FDA change that makes a less invasive treatment option available to more people. Probably eight or ten years ago, my time just got less and less and really didn't put two and two together. Get an equal amount on each of the pots. Albert Bordine is a very active man who used to cycle regularly, but several years ago, he was diagnosed with aortic stenosis, and it's progressed. I tried to walk two miles yesterday and didn't, couldn't hardly make it. I couldn't walk. I had to just barely step to, to get through it. Aortic stenosis occurs in some people when the aortic valve becomes calcified and narrow, causing the heart to beat harder and decreasing the blood flow to the body. Common symptoms can include increasing fatigue, shortness of breath with exertion, and even suddenly passing out. For at least 60 years, the standard treatment for severe aortic stenosis has been to replace the valve through open heart surgery. Surgery was available, but they, that was crack the chest type, uh, which I that's pretty heavy to just recover from. It takes about a month to recuperate from an open heart operation. But the catheter procedure to replace the valve is much less invasive. One or two nights stay in the hospital and then they go home, they're able to get back to normal activity within 48 hours. Dr. William O'Neill is the medical director of the Structural Heart Disease Center at Henry Ford Hospital. We did a head-to-head -head comparison of patients that are low surgical risk where they got surgery versus TAVR. And in fact, the people that got TAVR had a better outcome. There was a lower mortality and a better uh, one in three year outcome. That research and a decade's worth of other developments and experience led the FDA to approve the TAVR procedure for even low surgical risk patients, not only for people who wouldn't survive surgery. Maybe I can get 10 more years of uh, healthy activity until something else might go wrong. Mr. Bordine had the TAVR procedure done and he is doing great. He's even back to exercising. There are some unusual circumstances where this procedure can't be done and someone would still need the bigger surgery. But for the majority of people, this will become the standard. Well, millions of young women may still be getting invasive medical exams that are unnecessary. Health experts currently recommend cervical cancer screening to begin for women starting at the age of 21. But researchers found that roughly 1.4 million women between 15 and 20 underwent a pelvic exam in a single year that was potentially unnecessary. And an est uh, estimated 1.6 million received a pap test, which may not have been needed. The cost of these exams was about $123 million a year. Scientists say parents of teens and young women should be aware that cervical cancer screening is not recommended in this age group. Well, a hospital stay can be stressful for patients and their families. So a children's hospital in Florida is on a mission to provide a place to escape for kids who are battling serious illness. Tori Dunham reports. On the grounds of the Palm Beach Children's Hospital sits a secret garden, a hidden oasis called the Dinosaur Garden. I feel that Matthew is here. I feel that that's his smile. He always wore a baseball cap. He's looking at us and he's happy. Roberta Lehrman tries to keep her son Matthew's memory alive. And um, he would love the garden. She remembers what it was like to be in the hospital as he battled a rare pediatric cancer. He passed away right after finishing college. She now leads the foundation he fundraised for, finding and funding outlets for pediatric patients to escape reality. And you forget you're in a hospital. You forget that you have to go back for treatment. 
choosing to help revitalize this garden at Palm Beach Children's Hospital. Our pediatric patients are scared. They're in an, a sort of a scary environment in the hospital. So this garden it's almost like a prehistoric paradise. So from his hospital bed, he wanted to quote unquote, make it better. It's home to dinosaur sculptures, music, lights, interactive xylophone flowers, and a beautiful mural created by artist Keith Goodson. As an artist, that's what I live for, is to, to bring inspiration. Anytime that you can incorporate a person into an environment with a mural, it's always the best, especially if you can capture them um, even the, the expression of who they are. Matthew's mother says her son would have been proud. Something positive, and that's what we want for children. I love that. Positive and inspirational for those kids. And that's what's trending now. The doctor is in. With the new year, everyone's jumping on the scale and trying to get those extra pounds off. However, losing weight can be challenging and is often not successful in the long run. Here to offer tips on how to achieve healthy weight loss and keep it off is integrative anti-aging physician Dr. Deepa Verma of Synergistic Integrative Health. Dr. Deepa, welcome to Blue. Hi, Cindy. Good to see you. Same here. So let's talk about what types of diets are best for weight loss. Okay. What do you recommend? So we have to first understand there are no cookie cutter diets. I think what people think is like, if my friend can do that and she lost 20 pounds, I can do the same thing. But then the results are often not the same. So what I see as a physician are people who say, well, I'm doing the same thing my friend or my sister did and she lost 20 pounds, but I can barely lose five pounds. So what I tell them is that we have to really customize and tailor make your diet because mm -hmm. it's based on your genetics okay. and what fits that person might not necessarily fit you. So there are a lot of fads out there and it's becoming very popular to see a lot of new diets like plant-based diets and intermittent fasting and they're all great mm -hmm. but I think it's really important for the patient to understand what it entails and really what they have to do in terms of their macronutrients because there's low carb, high protein, there's keto, and I think there's a lot of misinformation out there. So those are not sustainable in the long run. So I do a lot of genetic testing to look at macronutrient proportions. Mm -hmm. And then I sit down with the patient. When I go over the results, I tell them, I think first you need to detox, we need to cleanse the body. I really try to steer them towards a more plant-based diet, and there's a lot of medical and scientific evidence out there that's what the human body is suited for. Mm -hmm. People think we're often, you know, we need our meat, we need our dairy, but it's in fact very wrong that we need all those, they're very inflammatory. So I really give them all the medical facts and then tell them exactly what kind of steps to take. So in order to get your body ready to take on this new step, do you put them through this program? They mm -hmm. don't, when you say detox yes. and, and cleanse, what does that mean exactly? So there are a few different types of programs. Um, I have some examples here, but mm -hmm. I do um, a lot of fasting, um, intermittent fasting diets. So there's a five day cleanse for that. And what it's telling the patient to do basically, is you're not starving yourself, but you're having very low caloric intake. Mm -hmm on a plant-based diet, okay. so there's a lot of healthy fats. So we have our macros, the fats, proteins, and carbs. So we concentrate more on the fats, and then we watch the carbs and the proteins. Then there's a seven-day core detox, and that entails pills. We know we have to clean out the liver and the kidneys, so we have phase one and phase two detoxification. Mm -hmm. um, because a lot of times when people just jump into a diet and they're not detoxed properly, the body's not gonna lend itself to really losing weight in the proper manner. So there's a seven day core detox. A lot of it's supplemented with also plant protein powder. A lot of people think, oh, I need whey, I need dairy. And I, you know, using pea protein or rice protein, um, that's gonna be a much more benefit. Right. Then there's a 14 day cleanse that I often tell people to do. Um, that involves doing plant-based smoothies, mm. which actually replace the meal. Wow. And what I have to let patients know is that a plant-based nutrition actually offers more optimal nutrition in the way of vitamins, minerals, even protein, iron, and calcium, way more than you can get by eating, say, eggs and bacon for breakfast and like a a meat sandwich. Um, and then there's a 40 day transformation period. And so I really guide the patients so they know exactly what supplements to take. Mm -hmm. I make sure they do the proper labs to see if they have any underlying diseases because mm. we often neglect root causes. Right. Because there's an explanation why someone has acid reflux or high blood pressure or diabetes. These things are reversible. It's lose weight, it's eat healthy, decrease inflammation. 
So th there's a, there are a lot of different diets. So once you get people uh, to their optimal health where they're ready to uh, undertake this basically lifestyle change, yes, right? It's that, not yes. a diet. It's a lifestyle change. So if you want somebody to get more plant-based and they're thinking, well, how in the heck am I going to yeah. do that when I go to restaurants and I've got to yes. feed the family? Do you help guide them through that as well as, as to what they can eat so that they're not missing the meat so much? Yeah. So right now there are a lot of meatless meat products. I mean, everyone's heard of Beyond Meat, Beyond mm. Burger, Impossible Burger. Um, those are huge. So we have the really meatless meat type of products where the carnivores can actually feel comfortable transitioning because I've had so many carnivores, especially men, because mm -hmm. men have that more um well, they think it's macho to eat meat. Yeah, I it's like guess. a caveman, <laughs> right, caveman right, right. mentality. So they actually eat it, and I've had a lot of my the, the wives or the significant others say, oh, my gosh, I kind of fooled them into eating that. And then you have the really veggie-based type of products, like the beans and the quinoa and stuff like that. So, you know, they're a lot more prevalent in mm. restaurants. Happy Cow is a great app. True. So, you know, when you go, I mean, I go around the world and use that. I find tons of plant-based. I was in London recently. That's actually voted the number one place to find vegan and plant-based restaurants. Interesting. You will find it if you look for it. And even restaurants that don't advertise as that, mm -hmm. they will have the gluten-free menus, dairy-free, they will have those alternatives there. Right. Um, and shopping at places like Whole Foods, Earth Fair, Sprouts, Trader Joe's, those are great options. The options are definitely out there. All right, Deepa Verma, thank you very much. Thanks, if you would like more information, you can visit Dr. Verma's website at drdeepaverma.com. And we will be back with more Bloom right after this. Coming up on Bloom, Healthy St. Pete offers tips for healthy and affordable meals. And we teach you how to eat healthy on a budget. We teach you to um, make a meal for a family of four for 10 bucks or less. Plus, Chef Kate's of Boca is here to cook up something healthy. See, we, we've got the roots and everything oh, in here. Oh, you sure do. Um, the bib salad's on our menu, mm -hmm. and so I wanted to, uh, to show you guys how how fresh and farm to table we actually are. And a five minute total body boot camp. That's all ahead. I'm constantly cyberbullied online by my own family. Are you losing family over your political beliefs? She's playing the victim role. She's are not you listening me? to what I'm, you're saying. You're the one that's acting like a bully. Next, Mel. The Mel Robbins Show, today at one. Thank you, Tampa Bay, for nominating the remarkable women in your life. Now, stay tuned as four of these inspirational stories will be featured on News Channel 8 every Tuesday in February. Tampa General Hospital recognizing remarkable women of Tampa Bay. Choose Winters and Yonker, and we will send an attorney to you for your auto accident. I'm Bill Winters. If you've been injured in an accident, call Winters and Yonker so we can start working on your case. Call Winters and Yonker for your free attorney consultation. Our parents taught us that family is everything that helping our neighbors and community is what matters most. We're not some out of town lawyer trying to dominate the airwaves. We're not about swagger either. Catania and Catania is always focused on one thing and one thing only, putting families first. If you or a loved one have been seriously hurt, we'll show you what that means. Ready for another 25 years? Let's do it. Putting families first. It's worth repeating. Catania and Catania. Are you over 50 and unable to work because of a physical or mental problem? Call us today, 855-500-9556. Unable to lift over 10 pounds 15 times an hour? Unable to stand in one place for two hours? You may be entitled to Social Security Disability. Call the Disability Experts of Florida to get the help you need. At Disability Experts of Florida, you're our neighbor, not a number. Call us now, 855-500-9556. Welcome back to Bloom. Joining us in the Bloom Kitchen today to cook up a healthy dish is Executive Chef Jason Cates of Boca. Welcome to Bloom. Good to have you here. That's good to have. Good to be here. So let's talk about uh, the fact that you have a lettuce wall at Boca, correct? Yeah, we <laughs> actually grow all of our lettuce in house, and the lettuce wall. You can come into any of the Bocas and see the lettuce just growing right there on the wall. And I brought some here today too. All right. Are you going to help us make a healthy salad? I am. So we're going to use a little bit of the bib salad, and as you can see, we we've got the roots and everything oh, in here. Oh, you sure do. Um, the bib salad's on our menu, mm -hmm. and so I wanted to uh, to show you guys how how fresh and farm to table we actually are. Yes, you are. And we use uh, we've got some red oak, we've got some bib and some frisee. 
Uh, I don't think I've even heard of red oak before. Yeah, well, I just chopped it and threw okay, it in there. But you yeah. can see it actually looks like little oak leaves. It's pretty. Um, just like the trees. So mm -hmm. it's quite, quite pretty. Very nice. Uh, and we're going to throw all this in here. Okay, this is su super fresh. Super fresh. Yeah. Fresh, just about as fresh as you can get as if you're pulling it right out of the garden. You guys really are farm to table, aren't you? Really. Now, what kind of dressing would that be? So this is a honey balsamic Ooh. vinaigrette. Oh. We're going to toss it together. These are some heirloom cherry tomatoes. You can see they're fresh heirlooms. Mm -hmm. We're just going to throw that together and always salt and pepper. Yeah, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Do you a have a lot? That. We're looking at some video now. And I'm going to swing behind you okay. go over here because we got the rest of this stuff to finish this up over here. We're looking at a farm. So are your farms that you're using close by? Absolutely. We uh, use all local as um, everything stays in Florida as much as we possibly can. Wow. So um, with the farms, the cattle, all local. Nice. Uh, same with all the, uh, we're growing our own lettuce, but um, all of the vegetables and everything, and they all kind of started going to the farmer's markets mm -hmm. and so on and so forth. So these guys here. Okay. Then we've got, so this is our bib salad. It's on every one of our menus. Love one it. of our staples. Are a lot of people asking for healthy options these days? So healthy options. That's very, pretty much everything on your good. menu. <laughs> uh, there's a lot of stuff on our menu, and we, we try to be when, when I say healthy, like our menu points towards things like no preservatives, no mm. GMO, HMO, all that stuff. These are candied oranges. Ooh, candied um, oranges. Yeah, just a little bit of simple syrup candy. Mm -hmm. um, and we do a little bit of that. And these are grilled zucchini right on our open flame grill. You come into the bocas, you can smell the wood. You can Love smell the that. Oak. Some fresh herbs, again, from our gardens. You can come. When you walk up to Boca, you can see where most of our herbs are growing right outside in front. That's fantastic. Um, so this and a little bit of feta. You can't go wrong with a little bit of feta. A little bit of feta. Mm, oh my gosh. There. Chef, I could eat that every single day. Yeah, well, and plenty. I would be a lot healthier for it a if I did. A lot of people do. So. <laughs> now, let's, let's talk soup. Let's talk soup. So the other thing I wanted to do was we'll talk about our butternut squash soup. Mm -hmm. um, and with our butternut squash soup, I took everything separate. You can see there's a lot of ingredients, yeah, but I know there's a lot of talk about turmeric and healthy mm. ginger, things like that. Yes. So um, we're going to start off. And I've got this lovely pan. So we're going to, when you take this at home, and hopefully you can zoom in on, on all these ingredients, yes. but uh, you when you do this at fennel, home, butternut milk. squash, carrots, mm. onions, we've got ginger. Ginger, which is uh, good for digestion. Turmeric, which Absolutely. is good for inflammation. Butternut squash. Mm. Fennel, any, there's oh, some fennel there, very good garlic. For so we got all of our root veggies Garlic's in here. Garlic's great for your immune system. Do all of this. So those are, that's kind of the first part. Mm. Saute that up. Yes. That looks good. Where did you train? Uh, I have been all over this lovely country. Yes? I uh, wound up down here in Florida just about 10 years ago. It's hard to leave once you come here. It's it <laughs> is. It's, uh, you know, all the beaches, all the beauty. I and know. Then it's a to great bring place all to the, live. all the culinary from all over the place and bring it into one spot. It's Love really, that. Really pretty incredible. So uh, we have less than a minute, but let's just say we've put all our so ingredients in there. So we put all this in, in here and all these other ingredients, including a little rum, which uh -huh. we all love. A little rum. And with the magic of our lovely TV, you boil that down. Yes. This gets nice and tender. Looks like so a nice thick soup. Nice thick tender soup mm -hmm. and all those lovely ingredients. Mm, it smells That's so down. good. Then you would puree it. You can either use a blender. A hand blender or uh -huh. a regular blender, something like that. And, and voila. Voila, we get this magic of TV. I will p hand you that. There Beautiful. you go. And as you do that, I will say, if you would like more info, visit bocatampa.com. How many locations? We have four bocas. Four bocas. Winter Park, Sarasota, Tampa, mm -hmm. and Brandon, which is my location. Marvelous. All right, thank you very much. We will be back with more Bloom right after this. Very well. Mm -hmm. Some people think our law firm only takes on the biggest cases with the most serious injuries. The truth is, many of our cases involve car crashes, slip and falls, and work injuries. But here's the thing, what makes us different is that we don't actually believe those cases are small. Even a low speed crash or a slip and fall can cause serious injuries that last a lifetime. And that's a really big deal. If you've been injured, dial pound law. There's only one Morgan & Morgan. At Catania & Catania, we're guided by family values, integrity, and a passion for helping others. We've recovered hundreds of millions for our clients. But that's not what drives us. Putting families first. It's worth repeating. Catania & Catania. Hey, Roz here. How do I know so much about 1-800-ASK-GARY? Since I work there, I get to see firsthand how we help people.
people every day, 24-7. And if you've been in an accident, they can help you too. Don't be scared and confused. Call 1-800-ESCARE as soon as you can, even if you're still on the scene. Because they can help you find legal and medical help to get the settlement you deserve. 1-800-ASK-GARY. Trusted by accident victims for more than 10 years. Knowledge is power. Have you ever been concerned that you might have high cholesterol? Did you know that high cholesterol is a key risk factor for heart disease? A local research study is being conducted that will examine a cholesterol-lowering medicine that could become available over the counter. If you are concerned you may have high cholesterol, you may qualify for this study. Take the online assessment at myheartcarestudy.com to see if you qualify. I'm Doug Bernetti. A serious injury could change your life in an instant. At Bernetti PA, we fight to recover compensation for our clients' medical bills and lost wages, all at no upfront cost to you. Call 1-800-BERNETTI. We're ready. Register today for the Publix Gasparilla Distance Classic. Welcome back to Bloom. Healthy eating can be expensive. However, you can make healthy, low-cost meals with some planning. Here to help are two people with Healthy St. Pete Initiative. Joining us now are St. Petersburg Ge Deputy Mayor and City Administrator Dr. Kanika Tomlin, who has brought along Hillary Miller with the University of Florida's FAS Extension Family Nutrition Program. Ladies, welcome to Bloom. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. So glad to be back. So talk to us about Healthy St. Pete, first of all. So Healthy St. Pete is our citywide initiative that's designed to help us live, shop, eat, and play healthier. It's all about education, engagement, and empowerment. And now that we're at the first of the year, we're really encouraging everyone to make some new goals mm -hmm. all around healthy eating. And sometimes people think they don't have enough time or they don't have enough money to make that work. But those are myths, right. and Hillary's going to help us understand why that's the case. Hillary, help us understand, and how are you reaching out to the community to get this point across? We teach different classes, classes to help people that are food insecure, mm -hmm. and we teach you how to eat healthy on a budget. We teach you to um, make a meal for a family of four for 10 bucks or less. Wow, okay, what is my plate? I'm glad you asked. <laughs> Everything is based on my plate. You can go to myplate.gov, mm -hmm. and it's the way your plate should look when you eat a meal to stay healthy. Okay. So have Half your plate should be fruits and vegetables every time. Mm -hmm. You want to try and have about a quarter of your plate whole grains. Right. You can start off with at least half your grains being whole grains. And there's the plate that it, we're supposed to be uh, using as our guide. We should all have this on all of our plates, don't you right. think? We <laughs> should. We should because it's easy and it's colorful and it's color coded. And in fact, when you go shopping, a lot of times they will have a My Plate plate on the food to tell you which food group it falls into. Okay, so fruits, vegetables, whole grains, grains protein, okay. Lean protein. Yes. And it can also be plant proteins mm -hmm. and low fat or fat free dairy. Okay, got You know it. what, Cindy? This is like the layout of a grocery store as well. Uh -huh. You can hit those four co corners of the grocery store, the produce, the grains, the protein, and the dairy, Right. and get everything you need for a healthy meal. And of course, Kanika, I'm sure you've heard it, we all have, that some people live in areas where it's called a food desert, where there's not a lot of great options for them. So are, is that all encompassing in this, where we're trying to bring people, the food to the people, rather than have them try to go out and find the food? Absolutely. We have a very cool program called the Fresh Rec Stop, where we bring fresh fruits and vegetables into our recreation centers, so families can grab those on their way out. We do cooking demonstrations around that. We've worked with local conven convenience stores to try mm -hmm. to get them to have healthy options. So that's one of our biggest priorities. Okay. Now, Hillary, and we've got some... We have talk cute. to us about these <laughs> cute little guys They're over so here. They're so cute. Well, we teach all ages, so pre-K up through senior adults. I love working with seniors. But mm -hmm. these are nice little props. This is Klaus. He's a bacteria. <laughs> Although he's adorable, we don't really want him. So we talk about food safety and proper hand washing. Mm -hmm. And we have a little book that goes along with him. Okay. And we have something called Glow Germ. So we can put like a little lotion on our hands and then you have a little black light oh. so they can tell if they do a good job That's or not. That's scary. <laughs> and this is our dairy fairy. She's just uh -huh. adorable since we want to make sure you're getting at least three servings of dairy every day so you're getting enough calcium. So are these used for the kids? For kids, for <laughs> little kids. I mean, I would use them with adults if they wanted, but sure. I, I don't know. I mean, hey, why not? Or start the good habits early, right? That's right. Exactly. Now, unit pricing. Explain for us what we're looking at here and okay. how, why this is so important. Okay, so when you shop, it's best to look at the unit price instead of the amount of what you're buying because you might think you're getting a deal like these 
carrots are a dollar, mm -hmm. right? And this says three forty nine. So you think, well, I'm going to buy the carrots the that are a dollar. I lost so many. I bet ninety percent of the people do that when they're trying to save money. They think I'm going to go for the dollar, obviously, but. It, they're not saving. No, think. you're actually paying more money. So when you look at the little unit price, it tells mm -hmm. you this is actually 96 cents per pound, whereas this one is 70 cents per pound. Okay. So you're saving money when you buy the whole carrots. Mm -hmm. They will last longer. And that extra money you're saving, you can put into buying more food. What about for seniors who may be watching? How can they reduce their sodium? Because it seems like there is just so much packed in everything. It is, it is. For one thing, again, shopping the aisles, because if you're on the outside, things haven't been prepared, but if you do buy prepared foods, like beans and cans, mm -hmm. you want to rinse them before you eat them, and that'll take care of some of that sodium. Okay, and finally, what's that? Oh, <laughs> this beautiful soda. This represents how much sugar you would have. If you had two sodas a day, two 12-ounce sodas every day uh -huh. for a month, <gasps> you would be eating five pounds of sugar and you have about 5.6 gallons of soda. Mm -mm. So over the, that will give you like 8,000 calories. Okay. So you have to walk <coughs> about 100 miles to burn okay. the two sodas a day. Kick that habit. So important. That's Thank you That's 60 both. pounds of sugar a year. That's way too much. You That's can learn more from Hillary at her nutrition education series for seniors at Sunshine <coughs> Center <coughs> in St. Petersburg. Kaniki, you okay over there? <laughs> she's, uh, she's upset because there's a lot of sugar <coughs> in that. Starting in January. And of course, for more information on their various locations, check out stpeteparksrec.org and also visit familynutritionprogram.org. Thank you both. Here's to a healthy 2020. More Bloom coming up. Stay with us. The stories of the men and women in the military who have sacrificed so much for us are fading from the headlines. Many of these brave heroes came home with injuries that changed their lives forever. But for some service members, the greatest casualty is being forgotten. As a father, I'm eternally grateful to Wounded Warrior Project. They've been with us throughout our journey. It was a tough, tough road. With a gift of just $19 a month, you'll help provide free life-changing programs and services to injured veterans and family members. One of the biggest concerns that my husband and I had was what was going to happen to our son when we were no longer here. Wounded Warrior Project is going to be there for the long haul. It provides such peace of mind to know that Alan's not in this alone. To join the Advanced Guard Monthly Giving Program, call or go online with your gift of just $19 a month and we'll send you this Wounded Warrior Project blanket. You've helped me and is very much appreciated. I'm just one of many. Please don't stop giving. That kid is an amazing young man. I wish I could write a thank you letter to every American that has supported Wounded Warrior Project and the work that they do. They're changing lives. Now is the time for healing and recovery. But many of these wounded service members can't do it alone. They need your help, and they need Wounded Warrior Project. Call or go online at honorwarriors.org and support our wounded warriors today. Welcome back to Bloom. It's the dawning of a new decade, and if you want to get healthy in 2020, experts advise against making lofty New Year's resolutions and instead find a sustainable approach to a healthy lifestyle, including an eating approach that can be easily maintained throughout the year. Here with tips to help you eat better and lose weight in the process is Dr. Taylor Wallace, who Huffington Post recently called the nation's premier food and nutrition guru. Dr. Taylor, welcome to Bloom. Thanks for having me and Happy New Year. Thank you so much. Well, for many people, the start of a new year includes setting resolutions, but studies show that only 8% of people actually stick to them. So how can people set goals that they can actually stick to? So one of the problems with this time of year is that we all set these grand resolutions. I know I'm guilty of it, but they're not sustainable in the long run. 
So from a dietary standpoint, what we want to do is start incorporating uh, small incremental changes that we can sustain over long periods of time. And that's really going to maximize health. So choosing foods that have optimal levels of protein, uh, that are rich in dietary fiber, and in good fats are, are a good start. Mm, okay, well what role should carbohydrates and sugar play in your diet? Because you know they're going to be there. Right. Well, we know that sugar is a huge driver of both the obesity epidemic and heart disease, which is the number one killer of Americans. So we really have to try to minimize the amount of sugar that we get in our diet. Now, we need to focus on the fiber-rich carbs, those in fruits, vegetables, and whole grains like oats. Um, but what Americans really don't realize is that we have a lot of simple carbohydrates in the diet. Those we might know as refined carbohydrates. Uh, our bodies convert those upon digestion directly into sugar. And we call this the hidden sugar effect because it's not necessarily right there on the food label. So uh, let's take a whole grain uh, bagel, for instance. Uh, you might think a whole grain bagel is super healthy, but your body converts that into about eight teaspoons of sugar. Your body only handles about one to two teaspoons of sugar at a time. So all that extra sugar gets stored as fat in mm. your body. Okay, so what are some healthier food swaps that people should know about? So this is why I've partnered with Adkins because they literally have hundreds of healthy food swaps to help you in the new year and they're super practical. So today I have a few examples for you. For instance, starting with breakfast, instead of an egg with toast, have an egg filled avocado. Avocados are very high in dietary fiber. They have a lot of vitamins and minerals and healthy fats which will help sustain uh, your health. If you're like me and you love french fries, try baked turnip fries. Uh, they're really great. Don't knock it till you try it. I know they sound kind of weird, but I spice mine up with a little paprika, a little onion powder, and a little garlic salt. And they're actually pretty tasty and they hold the same texture as a french fry. Next, I've swapped out uh, lasagna noodles for uh, sliced zucchini. Uh, it's a great way of getting another vegetable into your diet and it keeps uh, where you can have that heart or that, that hearty dish that we all love, right, without spiking your blood sugar. And finally, because it's football season, uh, instead of the breaded buffalo wings, get an air fryer, air fry some cauliflower, dip it in buffalo sauce, toss it in buffalo sauce, and serve it with a little blue cheese. It's my absolute favorite. It tastes absolutely phenomenal. You've got to try it if you haven't. So, and it's, a, again, another great way uh, to get a vegetable in your diet. Now, of course, you know, people are creatures of habit. So how do they change their eating habits, even though you've given us some great suggestions? How do we get there? Right. So the number one thing you need to do is focus on getting five servings of fruits and vegetables into your diet every day. Those being your non-starchy vegetables like zucchini and squash and your low glycemic index fruits like berries such as strawberries, blueberries, blackberries. Um, and literally there are hundreds of recipes just like this as well as more information on the hidden sugar effect at adkins.com. All right, Dr. Wallace, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you. All right, learned a lot there. There's more Bloom coming up, so stay tuned. Sometimes after a car accident, the insurance company won't give you anything for your injuries. That's exactly what the insurance company tried to offer Gwen. But Steinberg Green and Finer got her $795,000. Choose Winters and Yonker, and we will send an attorney to you. Let our aggressive attorneys represent you for your personal injury case. Our firm will send an attorney, not an investigator, legal assistant, or paralegal. Winters and Yonker. I'm a finely tuned swimming machine, programmed to swim, win gold, repeat. I also struggle with depression and anxiety, but I only understood this outside of the pool. And that's when I started to see a therapist. That's when I chose to become human and not just a machine. Therapy helped me, and it can help you too. Get $100 off your first month of Talkspace therapy with coupon 100 for you. Brought to you by Talkspace. Therapy for all. Room after room after beautiful room. 
every room at Rooms to Go is priced to sell during our January clearance sale. Get amazing buys on special clearance items, reduced sale prices on Cindy Crawford Home, the Sofia Vergara Collection. Get big once-a-season savings store-wide, even on Rooms to Go Kids. Plus, get easy, interest-free financing. So hurry, we must clear the way for new styles. Shop the Rooms to Go January clearance sale today. This Is Us is back. Everything we know about its big return. This season is ambitious as anything we've ever done. Next ET. Tonight at 6.30 on Great 38. I've seen this story play out too many times. And I've seen too many people seriously injured because of a text. Which is why we sued distracted drivers. We know you may not have been ready. Call 1-800-BERNETTI. We're ready. How much can Steiner Green and Finer get you? They got Richard $160,000. $235,000 for this accident. Steiner turned this crash into $1.3 million. Wow, that's serious money. Welcome back to Bloom. While there's no real cure for a hangover, there are some nutrition tips for hangover prevention. Here to show us is registered dietitian Caroline O'Connor of the Simply Fit Dietitian. Caroline, welcome back to Bloom. Thank you. Glad to be back. So what's happening with our bodies? Why are we suffering so much when we have a hangover? Well, I'm not sure if everyone knows this, but alcohol is in fact not a food group. Oh, which really? <laughs> yes. Which means that your body cannot actually use that for energy. So instead of giving you energy and it coming in and our body using it for something, our body actually sees it as a toxin. So it's something that we need to process and get rid of. Mm -hmm. um, so not only is it dehydrating us, but it's also depleting us. Because instead of providing us with nutrition or something of value, mm -hmm. it's actually inhibiting absorption of other important nutrients. So it's depleting us of important things and also dehydrating us at the same time. I'm never going to look at alcohol the same way again. <laughs> so I have heard that if you drink clear alcohol, it's not as bad as dark alcohol. Is that a myth? Is, is there any truth to that at all? Actually, yes. So I was doing a little bit of research on that, and the studies show that um, lighter alcohol has lower levels of the toxins present. So the compound that our body is working to break down, mm -hmm. there's less of. Okay. So it's doing less work. So it is kind of true that if you're drinking darker alcohols, you probably will be feeling a little bit more hungover. Right, we're talking about liquor. Right. I mean, because there are still doctors out there who are saying, have a red wine, just not yes. 14. Right, right, okay. exactly. Is there anything we can do before we even start imbibing to help us not have the hangover later on? Right, so it's kind of a before, during, and after. Uh -huh. um, before, you need to eat. Okay. And you need to eat a well-balanced meal. So that food digesting in your system is going to help slow the rate of absorption of the alcohol into your bloodstream, mm -hmm. which in turn not only you know, reduces the hangover symptoms the following day, but it helps you from getting too drunk too quickly. Right. So does, does it matter if it's a loaf of bread versus a salad? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, kind of. So you want to make sure you've got the carb, the protein, and the fat. So you can't just get away with a piece of toast. Okay. You know what I mean? You need all the pieces and parts together. Okay. So eat a good meal right. before you start. Exactly. Okay, what else should we do now? And so we talked about how alcohol dehydrates and um, deplenishes. Mm. So we need to rehydrate, replenish. So water is a great thing. Most of us are already chronically dehydrated. Hydrated. Yes. We don't drink enough. Mm -hmm. um, but if you know you're going to be doing a night of drinking, I would be doing water plus electrolytes. Oh, now is this before you go out or while you're out or after you? Honestly, home? it's before, during, and after. <laughs> it's if you know you just you want to load up before. You can even um, bring some. We have like electrolyte tabs that you could bring and put in your drink um, if oh, you're at a bar. Okay. Uh huh. So you want to stay hydrated during and then after before you go to bed. You definitely like should be doing some water and some electrolytes. Okay, have you heard of those places you can go and you can get uh, the hooked IV. up to the yeah. IV uh -huh. and that's supposed to eliminate your hangover? What do you know about these things, anything? Yeah, so <laughs> it actually, it does re kind of replenish you. It's exactly what this is, but it's probably a much faster and more efficient rate. And probably more expensive. Oh yes, definitely. Probably a lot more expensive. Now you mentioned uh, electrolytes and things like that. I mean, w I'm thinking if you're, if you're drinking a lot of sports drinks, then you're just getting a lot of sugar while you're drinking alcohol, which has a lot of sugar. It's a lot of sugar. Right. So, so how do we get these electrolytes without 
overdosing on sugar. Yeah, something I always recommend is kind of staying away from the sugar too. I mean, if you're really looking to lower the hangover symptoms or maybe not experience one at all, I would be staying away from the sugar. Right. It's seltzer water, it's water with some fruit mix-ins. Um, in terms of the sports drinks, I would be looking for more of like the zero version. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes a little bit of carbohydrate isn't bad, that sugar helps pull the nutrients into the cell. So that's why sports drinks have that because it is the purpose is to rehydrate you. Right. So it's not necessarily bad, but would you chug like 24 ounces of it? Probably not. And the whole hair of the dog thing. <laughs> I mean, as a nutritionist. Yes. <laughs> so just talk to us a little bit about that. I'm going to, you know, for people who get up and say, you know what, another Bloody Mary and I'll feel a lot better. Mm -hmm. It is technically a myth. Um, the research does not show that it helps or prevents anything. Um, if it, makes it just prolongs the hangover. Right. <laughs> it's just kind of pushing it off. I think with the hair of the dog, it's more of easing into the hangover. Right. If your consumption was here and you have one in the morning, maybe it's like more uh, of a downward hill into that hangover. The last thing I want is another alcoholic drink if I'm hungover. Right. Now, I've heard soup is good too, maybe for the salt content. Mm -hmm. don't know. Well, thank you. You're welcome. I don't want to drink at all now. <laughs> if you want more information, you can visit Caroline's website, thesimplyfitdietitian.com. Caroline, happy drinking. <laughs> We'll be back with more Bloom right after this. When we were growing up, we were taught that it's important to look out for your neighbor and help those in need. You okay, buddy? Looks like it hurt. And that's why we started Catania Catania over 25 years ago. And why we still believe in putting families first. If you've been involved in a car crash, we know the injuries can be devastating, even life-changing. And we'll work to get you the highest recovery possible. Putting families first, it's worth repeating. Catania and Catania. For too long, treating cancer has meant reacting to it, instead of anticipating what it might do next. Moffitt Cancer Center is at the very forefront of cancer centers worldwide, using research to predict better ways of shrinking tumors, thoughtfully assembling the most skilled team of researchers to find new options that can extend the lives of patients today. What I do is I create mathematical models to predict how patients will respond to therapy. If we could actually inform doctors uh, in advance how the tumor will respond to therapy, then you could actually extend survival and take away drugs from regimens that are not going to give you any clinical benefit, reducing your side effects, reducing the chance that you're going to the ER because the therapy was just too harsh on you. Call or visit Moffat.org to see how our groundbreaking research is helping more patients live a life beyond cancer. Does a physical or a mental health condition keep you from working? Have you been denied Social Security disability? Or do you need help applying for benefits? Call now, 855-500-9561. The disability experts of Florida have helped thousands of clients just like you. Hire an experienced disability specialist. Let disability experts of Florida help you get the disability benefits you deserve. Don't wait, call now, 855-500-9561. Welcome back to Bloom. It's a new year and a new decade and everyone is starting off with new resolutions including getting fit. Today we have got a pro athlete who is going to give us a five minute boot camp with D1 sports training. Joining us now is former pro football player Taylor Scott, owner of D1 Tampa and CEO of Trench Academy. Taylor, good to have you here on Bloom. Thank you so much. We're excited to be here. So I bet you see a lot of new faces around this time of year, huh? We do. This is a very busy time of year. You know, between um, with our you know facility, we train Obviously, a lot of adults that have got New Year's resolutions. We're also right in the middle of football offseason. And actually, right now, we have guys coming flying in every single day for NFL Combine prep. So oh, wow. we have a lot of guys in town getting ready for that. And so we're excited. And after the next couple of weeks, we should have a lot of the Bucks players back in training with us. And, so lots and of pro athletes coming through your yeah, doors. Absolutely, yes, ma'am. But for the average Joe who's watching at home right, right now right. who thinks, OK, I'm a little intimidated by all of that, and mm. boot camp scares the heck out of me, right. it doesn't have to be that difficult, does it? Not at all, not at all. I think the one thing that we try to do very differently is we definitely want people to understand not just how to do certain things, but why we do them that way. And then really the most important thing is how to execute things properly. And I think 
that's one thing that certain boot camps kind of get away from to where it's constantly go, 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 go. Mm -hmm. The goal is to just try to make it really high intense. Right. But the reality is, is the majority of the um, results that you'll actually get comes through proper execution. Right. And since we have so many coaches there that work with all these pro athletes, the idea is that we bring that pro, that division one type of experience to the everyday person to where they don't just get in a high intense workout, but they get great coaching and they really learn how to do this stuff to eventually to the point to where they'll be able to do it all on their own. And you have to make it fun because if it is not fun and it's not challenging and it's not new, people are going to do it for a while and then they're going to say, Absolutely. See you later. Exactly. <laughs> yes, ma'am. All right. Well, we've got some uh, a lovely lady who's going to give us an example of what you do at the boot camp, right? Yes. Okay. Yes. So this is Kay. She's uh, our general manager as well as another one of our co-owners, and she goes through a lot of these as, as um, every single day. She is always training in our groups, and she is uh, a very, very big part of our culture, right? Mm -hmm. So. The idea is that she's going to kind of display exactly what we're going to be doing across as well as kind of performing um, good technique for okay. understanding That's where the body posture is and how we're supposed to be executing things the right yeah, way. Yeah, because if the technique is wrong, you're just going to injure yourself and then you're really not going to have fun. Absolutely, okay. absolutely. So, so she's going to start us off. She's just, we're just going to kind of bring everything down in the reps a little bit. Okay. She's just going to do five of each. But what we're going to do is we're going to start out with five kettlebell swings. Oh. You can see she's going to basically drop her butt down. She's going to really do a good job of keeping her back flat, extend all the way through her hips, activating her glutes, her hamstrings, and really building that up. Once we get there, we're going to go to more of a dynamic athletic movement as she's going to side shuffle through the top of the cones. And then she's going to immediately drop into a burpee. Ooh. Notice how she goes all the way down to her chest mm -hmm. and then touches to the ground. And then her knees never actually hit the floor. Then she's going to drop into what we call a goblet squat. Notice she keeps her elbows forward. Mm -hmm. She's keeping that chest up, butts down. The idea is that her back is actually flat the entire time. She's never bowing over, never curving that spine. Right, because then it just puts you, it's very hard it, on your it, lower back. Exactly, isn't yeah. It? yeah. You want, you all, we always say we want the pressure on the muscles, not the joints, ligaments, or tendons. Right. She's going to drop into that next burpee again, and then she's going to go into a high impact movement. We're just going to hit five med ball slams, once again, extending the core, driving all the way down that power, that explosiveness, and then as you can see how she's finishing right there, always dropping into a good athletic stance. She's gonna go back across again, over the top. Once again, we love to throw. V1 is the place for the athlete. We're gonna train everybody like an athlete. Everything's gonna be dynamic. We want people not only to get in great shape, mm -hmm. but understand that we are gonna be functional and what we're going to do is we're going to get you to a great sense of balance, a great sense of health and everything that we're doing. Now she's dropping into a reverse lunge to a single arm press. Notice how she's not rushing through her movements. No. She's concentrating on everything she's doing. Right. Do That's, you do this in a group setting or do you do it one-on-one -on -one or both? Typically what we'll do is obviously we have great group settings mm -hmm. and our culture is absolutely phenomenal. But what we really encourage people to do is when they first come in, sign up for about five to ten one-on-one -on -one sessions mm -hmm. to really understand once again the technique, the form, the execution so that they're a lot more confident by the time they go into the group. Right. And, um, and, and I bet you see people transforming their bodies pretty quickly. Oh, it's incredible. Yeah. Good job, Kay. Nice job. Looking good. That was the <laughs> easiest workout I ever had. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do this as we say goodbye and thank you very much. There's a D1 Sports Training in Lakewood Ranch. You can visit them on the web at d1training.com slash Lakewood Ranch or on social media. Taylor, and there's also downtown, right? Yes, we're right over off of Hillsboro. We're actually in the powerhouse location um, off of Hillsboro, um, right next to Himes. Right, All Hillsboro right. And Himes. There you go. We've got more bloom right after this. Okay, I've got to get the kettlebell now. Oh, yeah. <laughs>
much can Steiner Green and Finer get you? When Gwen got $1.3 million for her car wreck, who did she have to thank? Steiner Green and Finer. Who did Patricia call to get $121,000? Steiner Green and Finer. Know who got Hattie $40,000? Steiner Green and Finer. Bet you know this one. Who got Robert $2 million? Steiner Green and Finer. Now, the big question How much can Steiner Green and Finer get you? One of the questions I'm often asked is, what's my case worth? Of course, that depends on your injuries. But if you'd like to get an idea, go to ForThePeople.com and look at our recent verdicts in court. You'll see accidents and injuries just like yours. We try more accident cases to verdict than any firm in America and it allows us to settle early because the insurance industry knows about our reputation and results. Numbers don't lie. There's only one Morgan & Morgan. ForThePeople.com. Bay City Cabinets has been here for 40 years. We've seen a lot of cabinet companies come and go. The only thing that hasn't changed is us. Same ugly building, same quality products, same low prices. 4335 East Hillsborough Avenue in Tampa. <laughs> Welcome back to Bloom. It is time for Ask the Dietitian, where me, the dietitian, tackles your food and nutrition related questions. And today's question is from Kennedy in Tampa, who wants to know if a dry January would be a good idea. And I don't think he's referring to the weather. Have you guys heard of a dry January? Well, it's a trending idea of abstaining from alcohol for the month of January. And along with reducing calories, it may have some other health benefits too. The idea is that you are starting the new year on a sober, clearer, more refreshed, and healthy note. Dry January actually began in 2012 as an initiative by Alcohol Change UK, a British charity, and their goal was to ditch the hangover, reduce the waistline, and save some serious money by giving up alcohol for 31 days. Millions of people now take part in the challenge with more Americans than ever taking notice. A recent YouGov poll found that 14% of U.S. adults plan to participate in Dry January and the hashtag SoberIsSexy is popular on Instagram. The growing awareness comes that research studies have found no evidence that light drinking might help keep people healthy. In fact, more than five drinks a week on average can take years off a person's life, researchers have found. So, I'm gonna try to convince you to give this a try. I know we're a little bit into January, so you don't even have to do 31 full days, but here are some of the benefits of giving up some drinks. First of all, outside of the physical benefits, if you feel like you've overindulged or been too dependent on alcohol over the holidays, this might be a good mental cleanse and a way to get back balance in your life. Let's be honest, alcohol can become a habit. The feeling of needing a drink can go from occasional to all the time. So taking a break can benefit you in a way to reset those habits and reconnect with your sober self. It's kind of a self-diagnosis of how important alcohol really is to you. Can you go a week or even a month without any alcohol? And if you can't, why not? What is driving your need for alcohol? Think about it. You know, women more than men may be in need of a dry January. Why? Because alcohol use is increasing among women in the United States at a time when it's actually decreasing among men. Another women, reason women should take a break from the drink, well, women are at greater risk for some of the negative effects of alcohol. Biological sex differences mean men and women's bodies, women's bodies absorb more alcohol than men and they take longer to break it down. Alcohol for women also increases the risk of cancer of the mouth, throat, esophagus, liver, colon, and breast among women. And that's according to the Centers of Disease Control. They actually recommend women cutting down on alcohol use as one of the ways to prevent breast cancer. Women are also more vulnerable to brain and heart damage than men, and their risk of cirrhosis and other alcohol-related liver diseases is higher than men. Drinking is such a big factor, like I said, that it listed it as one of the four totally doable New Year's resolutions that will reduce the risk of breast cancer. So, does taking a break from alcohol, even a short one, actually help your body? I haven't been talking about it for three minutes if it did it, so yes, regular drinkers who abstain from alcohol for just one month were found to have a rapid decrease in certain chemical messengers in the blood that are associated with cancer progression, according to a recent study. The participants also saw improvements in their insulin resistance, weight, and blood pressure. Almost three quarters of people who took part in dry January in previous years said they slept better and 67% had more energy, according to a new University of Sussex survey. More than half, 58% who did dry January lost weight. 
Another interesting benefit, 54% reported better skin. Heavy drinkers who take a break might also notice they have less heartburn, less reflux, feel less irritable and anxious and have fewer headaches. It's worth noting that a 30-day absence from alcohol won't erase the damage years of drinking can do, but it might have some benefit. So if you're wondering how to start, here are a few tips. First, invite your friends. Drinking can have a huge social component, so not drinking can be equally beneficial as something a group strives for together. Also replace happy hour with fitness hour and invite friends for a group exercise class or a walk as a social time versus drinking. Cheers to a healthier you in 2020. I want to know what's your New Year's goal. If you have any tips you want to share, email me at bloom at wfla.com and drink up. Water that is. All right, stay tuned guys. We'll be right back with more Bloom. During the Rooms to Go January clearance sale, look what $888 buys. This stylish bedroom and your choice of two finishes. Five pieces, just $888. Plus, buy one nightstand, get one more nightstand free at the Rooms to Go January clearance sale. Choose Winners in Yonker for answers regarding your injury claim. I'm Patrick Brannon. We'll send an attorney to your home, work, or the hospital. We'll come to you in your time of need and fight to maximize your recovery. Call the aggressive attorneys, Winners in Yonker. We will send an attorney to you. Checkers has a new $4 Pick 2 meal deal. Pick 2 from the classic burger, spicy chicken sandwich, all-American cheeseburger, or chicken bites. Plus, get fries and a drink, all for 4 bucks. We don't like to brag, but it's hard to stay humble when we've got one of the best deals in the game. We think this $4 deal deserves our bragging rights, but we won't let that go to our heads. The brand new $4 Pick 2 meal deal, only at Checkers. Get Checkers delivered. A drunk driver runs a red light and hits you. Someone should have to pay for this. That's right. Someone should have to pay. If you've been the victim of a careless driver, call me right now. Jack Bernstein got a client who hurt their leg $1.5 million. Jack's got your back. I'm attorney Jack Bernstein, protecting your rights. Available 24-7, days, nights, weekends, anytime. 813-333-6666. The amazing thing about Morgan & Morgan is that not only are we the largest personal injury law firm in America, we're also very much a local law firm. And our office right here in your town, you will find dedicated, hardworking neighbors of yours who are committed to fighting for you, for the people. And as members of your community, we share your values and are available whenever you need us. We're from your city, we're in your city, we are for the people. Morgan & I'm Robert Palmer, president of RP Funding, and I've saved our customers over $40 million in closing costs. Smart homeowners are using their home equity now more than ever. To refinance or access your equity, visit rpfunding.com or call today. During the Rooms to Go January clearance sale, choose from three stylish $588 dining sets, like this five-piece set, just $588, this counter height set, $588, or this tropical set, just $588, at the Rooms to Go January clearance sale. It's been so nice being with you today on Bloom. I enjoyed filling in for Carissa today. Thank you so much for tuning in. On the next Bloom, we are visiting the Big Cat Rescue in Tampa and tips on vitamins from Dr. Herman, plus the founder of Body 20 is here with some fitness tips. The Mel Robbins Show is next. Have a great day, everyone. Bye-bye.